how did we get here? I think people have stopped asking the basic questions. Who am I? Where did I come from? And what is the meaning of life? And the conclusion I've come up with is that if you remove God from your life or your family or your community or your culture or your nation, then logic, reason, and truth are irrelevant. They are whatever you want them to be. And I've come to realize that there's a real war going on out there. It's a, it's a war of ideas and ideology and the best way to live, but ultimately it's a war for souls. Uh, we're, we're seeing unprecedented attacks on religious liberty in our country. St. Paul told the Ephesians, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against the powers of this present darkness. And we can't fight those powers alone, nor should we try. We must first be transformed by God's grace and allow God to work through us to transform ourselves and that in turn will transform the culture. The age of casual Catholicism is over. The age of heroic Catholicism has begun. We can no longer be Catholics by accident, but instead be Catholics by conviction. The world needs to hear this message and it's hungry for truth. It's hungry for this reality that they're not getting from the culture. The bottom line is we need to bring a Christian perspective to a world that, that is really losing what it, what it means. Christ came to serve and we're called to do the same. We're called to be people of service. But as adults, we can really choose who, who our influencers are and we need to surround ourselves with like-minded people. Not that we need to distance ourselves from those who think differently, but our closest people need to be people who, who are, are people who will help us grow in virtue. And you know, if we're living our faith, if we're really in relationship with Christ, they'll know it, they'll see it, they'll be impacted by it. Who's an evangelist? Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you.